Hey there, Tinkercad friends. The other day I showed you how to switch from designs to circuits, and I showed you how to create uh, what I called Circuit 1, although I think I named that after we completed the project. I am going to choose Tinker This, and let me show you how fun it is to modify these after you build them. So when we created this, I did not hit Start Simulation, but here you can see that when we do start the simulation, it turns on. Well, let's click on a component and adjust it so that it has two batteries. Notice the simulation was still running and you got to see it get brighter. Let's stop the simulation, switch to three batteries and start the simulation and notice it gets brighter again. Well, did you know if we stop the simulation that when you click on a resistor, we can adjust those values as well. So we can read resistors by the bands, but they also give us this awesome 1K ohm, which means 1,000 um, ohms. Let's change this instead to, and we will start the simulation as we do it, let's change it to 10, which should be 10,000, and notice the bands adjust, and it becomes more dim because there's more resistance. Let's make it 100, and watch how that changes even more dim but then let's switch to just ohms so instead of a thousand it's only a hundred ohms of resistance notice that there is an information bubble by the LED and it tells us that the current is right now 20.3 23.6 milliamps while the recommended is only 20 so that is putting stress on the LED and it may reduce its lifetime so let's click back and instead of 100 let's make this 400 and watch how it adjusts the brightness and we no longer have that warning now if you want to see something kind of funny change it to one milliamp and you can see that we just blew up our led the beauty of this simulation though is if we change it back to let's say 180 as we just experiment with numbers, it does come back to life. Last thing for today's project, you can also change the color of your LEDs, which is kind of fun. Let's stop that simulation. Let's bring back our components and let's do something crazy like add an extra LED. Remember when we bring that LED in, I'm going to click back on here so we can see it better, or I'm going to hide the component so I can see it better. We need to click on that LED, and let's rotate it around. Make sure you're careful when you're rotating so you don't rotate past. And then check it out. When we start the simulation now, we have got two LEDs. So, there's tons of room for you to explore. Have fun. See what other kind of cool things you can come up with. Make sure you share your cool extensions in the comments. And please like, comment, and subscribe.